Greetings, good evening, good morning, good day, hello, thank you for choosing my channel to enjoy this second episode of the epic story told by Telltale Games. The video will be unnarrated, I will be speaking for about a minute now just to introduce it to you guys. It will be split in two or three parts depending on how quickly I finish it. Each one of these episodes is supposed to last about two hours, averagely for the normal player which I consider to be. There is a very brief introduction that will start in a moment just in case you forgot what happened in the first episode and if you haven't seen it before I have a link here somewhere around the video as well as down below in the description. The story is awesome, it follows the general storyline from the TV show from HBO but is also based on the books of course. We made brand new characters this game is about story and it delivers. There is not so much action, but the drama is there. And this is the strongest side or the strongest pillar for Game of Thrones series. I hope you enjoyed this episode with me. There might be a replay with different options, probably live on stream. We will see, depending on how entertaining this episode is. Here we go. These are dark days, I fear. The North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong! The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rashid. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn war. Ethan. Uh, no! Don't let them take me! Oh, it's just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here This soon. stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Fragrant. Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. I know, I know. Woman sellsword, four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. 
Come on, Asha, quit staring. Let's get to drinking. Ale goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. He looks fine. Fat and scared. Good. Let him stay that way. Until we collect our gold, at least. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? I don't need whores. I've been told I'm quite handsome. Yeah. By whores. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's not that simple. In the North, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the North. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To family. I'm sure I'd agree if I'd ever had one. Freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. Fuck you! He's worth twice that! <laughs> Look at the balls on this one! Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell. And we're done with you too. You just made a huge mistake, Tazel. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. 
So he killed Bezak instead? Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. If you're that eager to die... Get down! Oh. All right, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of the season? Kill them, now! No one more life. Here's one. Come on! Sink on it up! Come on! You owe me one. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
that's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. <laughs> Who you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I dog. A, a stable boy in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. Oh, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. Look at the colours. A fine trick. I'm sure you expected to be paid leave. Now. Fine. I'll drop them in the river then. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh. That was a sheep fucker. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, sir. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him... Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Mr. Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Oh, you're telling me I don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. 
I promise. Good. But planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> You can, Dahlia. I know you can. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. You need to let me worry about that. We're all worried. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Who do you think I am? I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. This is the seat of the Night's Watch.
Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, you'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Wine's almost done, actually. We'll need another barrel. Tell Sadok. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real first. shame about your leg, oh, the the toss. Don't let go of your sister now.
We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. Ridiculous. You're treating them like The guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole I've told you, I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, 
She'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. For my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.